name is Tom Shady. I'm the CTO of Green Key Technologies. We are a startup that specializes in real-time financial NLP. Um, one of our key uh, value differentiators is that we are on-premise for both operation and training. And one of the things I want to talk about today is that we have, from the beginning, designed ourselves to partner with other people through direct partnerships as well as indirect partnerships through an open source effort. So our vision at GreenKey is that our technology can be used by every financial firm to unlock the value in a fire hose of data that's coming into your firm. Uh, we may experience this today. I know I get too many emails in my inbox. It's hard to process all of that. But the life of a sales trader is completely overwhelmed with all of the information coming in. And this is coming in on many different channels. There's voice, chat, email. And all these different data sources have all of this unstructured data that has previously been unable to capture before GreenKey. So our vision is that using our technology, we can be at every financial firm to help you process this, to structure it, power downstream applications, and get these key insights uh, to help you make more money, to help prioritize your day, um, and more. So today, I'm going to talk about some of the steps we've taken to achieve this. Uh, my talk today is going to be on our overall approach, which will discuss the strategy that we've chosen. That'll get into the technical choices that we have made to specifically help this. I'm going to try and do a live demo. <laughs> the uh, cell reception's a little iffy, so I've got a little, uh, we'll see how that goes today. Um, that, that live demo is going to be showing us going all the way from audio sources into our AI, into the OpenFin desktop system, as well as Symfony. Uh, and we've got some chatbot examples. The, the point here is that we can um, send our information out to many different channels. So I'm going to demonstrate that live. And then the last part is really important to us and our strategy, and that is the community. And so I'll get to that uh, at the end of the demo. How are we embracing the community? What aspects of this are we, are we leveraging? So part of our strategy was to build trust with financial firms. And to do that, we need to be an open platform. Uh, data security is incredibly important. This is key financial data these firms have. You can't just send it out to the public cloud. There's too many risks there. So we wanted to build this trust by building our software so that it can be deployed on premise. There's an open architecture, except for the data science core. We open everything up. Uh, and another key aspect of this trust is that we can provide a platform for other people to build on. This problem is way too big for us to solve ourselves, and we know that. No one firm can handle this full spectrum of information. So part of our strategy was, how do we interoperate with all of these other firms today? You've seen today some great talks, great powerful desktop software, great analytic solutions. We're not trying to replace any of that. We're trying to augment it. Uh, you know, just as a cell phone in your pocket augments your daily world, uh, you're much smarter because of it. You're able to access a sea of information. With, right now, it's just two thumbs. We'll see about uh, other interfaces later. But, but this is really an AI that you're carrying with you all the time. And in a similar way, we're trying to be the AI that every financial firm will have all the time with them to help process this immense flow of data. So um, onto our technology choices. So we, we focused on finance. This is a high jargon industry where our NLP really shines. Uh, we are trying to be the world-class NLP solution for all financial firms. But we know we can't solve every problem. We know we can't reach all the way into your specific uh, client's needs. So one of our technology choices was to use SDKs to allow you to extend our solution yourself. We're really proud of this. It's a way for you to take our NLP core and augment it um, to, to go deeper into your very client-specific jargon um, and terms. All right, here we go. 
So I'm going to move these windows around to see them a little bit better. Let's see how my cell reception's doing. Two bars. All right. So just in case I have a backup system. But what we're looking at here is on the left, we've got uh, our blotter, which is an IPC green key co-developed product. So the way this um, demo is going to go, I'm going to start all the way from an audio channel where through speech recognition, we're going to structure that audio, turn it into financial instruments, display it in an OpenFIN compatible app on the left there, uh, as well as output that information to a Symphony chat room. So this is trying to demonstrate the broad specter of interconnectivity that, that we can uh, support. In addition, we have chatbots that I'll show you also uh, that help you kind of process this information and understand it better. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to shout some quotes. And I'm not a trader, so I need a cheat sheet here. Cable fives, we deal 12 and a half, 12 and three quarters. Dollar by three for today's fix. Dollar five month forward, five ten semi pay, 36 and one eighth. 24 sep 20 into one year at neg 11 and a half. 24 sep 24 into five year and 52 million all versus sixes. Cool. So what you saw here is live quotes coming in to two different data sources here through Green Key backend. On the left is the blotter where you're seeing in real time all of these quotes coming in. Um, and we're also dumping them out into a Symphony chat room. I'm sorry, what was that? My phone is acting like a turret. I couldn't really put one on the, the desktop, but uh, that's calling into our call bot which is on the public telephony network. Um, and that is acting like this, the, my cell phone was a simulated turret in this exercise. So uh, some of the partnerships that we've got here are to enable all of this to happen. We're a small company. We're laser focused on NLP. We've partnered with IPC, which is a major carrier uh, for financial um, networks. Uh, and this is our first uh, venture into the desktop. So with the IPC blotter powered by GreenKey, you're able to see in real time all these quotes come in. And there's a handful of features here, of course. You know, there's a search field. You can uh, narrow your results. You can certainly filter on date, uh, kind of the, the normal um, app features that you would want, as well as the ability to, sorry, I, uh, the mic was cutting out, the ability to copy paste these. Um, the next step is integration into. Uh, trade ticket platforms. So in addition, uh, another way to demonstrate some of our technology is with our focus application. Let's get an interesting one. So with this tool, you're able to see our transcription happening for the financial language. Uh, it extracts the quote. And I'm going to demonstrate what actually is produced by our engine in the form of JSON. So this is the actual output from our engine. You're seeing it in a nice UI. But as you can see, there's tons of structural information here, confidence scores uh, for every single word. There's sentiment analysis. This is a very rich data set. Uh, again, because we know we're not going to be the final solution. We're trying to prevent, provide a ton of uh, information um, for downstream applications to use. So using this, you can power automation, power different workflows. There's a ton of information here. You get the idea. This also allows, uh, one of the strategic aspects of this is we allow the, the client to be 
uh, act as a data scientist. You can correct this using our browser. Um, I don't want to actually send it the wrong information, but if for some reason the transcription was incorrect, you could correct it here, and it will actually train on-premise and update our models. Okay. So what can we do with this? Um, these are some of the reports that we're generating right now for our customers. Uh, you can extract product mention heat maps. You can analyze conversations. We're trying to unlock the different um, value streams, including um, what customer relations need to be improved, uh, what products are, are being traded right now. So it lets you get a pulse of your, uh, of your desk in real time, something you couldn't do before. So this is processing audio and chat in real time, allowing it to be searchable and actionable. Okay, so on to the uh, community section for this. Uh, like I said, we, we knew we couldn't build it ourselves. So what's the best way to leverage the community and be good community members? And that really takes place in two forms. One is through direct partnerships uh, with very high touch relationships with key partners. And the other is the low touch platform idea where we provide a platform for other people to build software on and extend. Uh, these are both, uh, this bimodal strategy is really important, um, I think, towards leveraging the, the community. So the, the direct partners we've got, we're working with IBC, they've been great partners, they, they own the microphone, it is great for us to be able to get that voice stream coming off of a turret. Um, we're working with OpenFins, our apps are on the desktop now, and which enables interoperability with a host of different applications. Um, Symphony's been a great partner, they're an output channel for our results. Uh, you know, we're, we're working with voice recorders as a method of persistence. So all of these things put together really capture the, the whole stream, and these are just the ones that we know about today. So now I'm gonna get I'm gonna provide a little analogy that uh, I like to use because I think there's a lot to be learned through other disciplines. And so uh, my background is in distributed systems. And so when I think about a distributed computing system, it has some of the same challenges as a distributed people system, which is really what the, our community is. And so the next slide I'm gonna present talks about when you're a novice engineer, some of the mistakes you make. The rookie mistakes, they're called the fallacies of distributed computing. And then I'm gonna draw an analogy to the fallacies of distributed networking. Um, so here they are, there's eight of them. They were created by some engineers at Sun Microsystems in the 90s. Uh, again, these are rookie mistakes that novice engineers make. They assume that there's infinite bandwidth, that everyone gets your message guaranteed and it happens instantly, uh, that no computer will ever fail, uh, and so on. That this is all for free, uh, that infrastructure doesn't cost anything, and so all of these kind of lead someone to not produce any error handling in the system, uh, to not really reflect the total cost of it, and these errors compound over time. There's some interesting trade-offs here uh, between latency and bandwidth that are, that are uh, important for us all to know. And so, how does this relate to people? Well, I'm only gonna talk about six of them today. These six, uh, that's all we have time for. And so, how does this map to people? And so, uh, you know, I've replaced the computer term with a people term. And some of these fallacies could be expressed as people are always available. I don't find that to be true. Uh, is communication instant? Is everyone's attention span infinite? Is everyone on this project going to stay throughout the life cycle of this project? Uh, is collaboration for free? And is every culture the same that I'm gonna work with? And the answer to all of these is no, but they're very easy mistakes to make when you're trying to build a platform and you're trying to build a community and collaborate. And so I'm gonna break these into two general categories. Um, 
which reflect the partnership versus the community, the uh, platform strategy. Uh, and first, we're going to start with the community collaboration. Um, it's real easy to uh, not design your people strategy for success. And so these are some of the things that we've been focusing on uh, when we try and collaborate with people. The first is don't have non-blocking or, or don't have blocking communication. People are not always going to be there. They're not always going to be able to respond. For those of you in, in the FinOS working groups, uh, an, an example of this would be some of the phone calls where there's an in-person meeting with everyone and a key person isn't there. You just, uh, it, that meeting is not as valuable. And so uh, I'm in the voice program at FinOS, and so what we're trying to do is have as much non-blocking communication as possible uh, because we know that everyone's busy and everyone's not always going to be there. Um, Again, latency is zero. We can't expect communication to be instant. And that's going to be received right away. Uh, and so again, how are you structuring your communication so that you can be patient um, to get the response you need? And so writing really helps here. Uh, and the bandwidth is infinite. It's the same thing with attention is infinite. Don't overload a channel. Um, you know, in a developer, you could see this with a 10,000 line pull request asking for people to review it. It could be a 40 page Word doc that has red lines in it. It could be an enormous email that you received that you don't have time for to read now. You can't assume that all your partners are going to have the attention span to deal with this. We all have to prioritize our day. And so being able to structure your communication so that you're not overburdening any particular uh, channel, any particular bandwidth is important. Uh, and this, the way to do this is with very small, very incremental uh, improvements. And uh, the first is, of course, the way to leverage a, a community with a low-touch method is with code. So for that, we provide SDKs and APIs for everyone to take advantage of the green key technology. We make it easy for them. One of the metrics that uh, we try and use is time to first hello world. How long does it take someone when they download your SDK to get an example up and running? This, this is a pretty important um, way to collaborate with the community. Um, and the other is, is empathy. Uh, you need to understand your users. You need to understand your community members, uh, know what their goals are, how to fit into that, um, listen. Uh, it, it really, even though it's a broad open source effort, it, it does matter. Um, and so this can prevent a lot of bottlenecks in the future. OK, so now we're on to direct partnerships. Um, these are the high touch, very high value personal relationships that we have with some of our partners like IPC. Uh, and there's some fallacies here that we could also make. So assuming that key players won't change in a project is not a good idea. People come and go. People get shifted from one to the other. Um, and the solution for this is writing. So documenting decisions, uh, documenting your action plan, your strategies is, is really important. Because now someone else can come and take over and immediately execute on that. Uh, this one's important to me. Collaboration cost is not zero. You need to budget for this. It's not just assigning a project manager. That's great, but it doesn't solve the whole problem. Everyone on your staff is going to need to carve out some time if you're going to make the relationship work. Uh, you know, this is critical to us and our partners right now, especially because we need to understand our customers as well. Cultures are not homogenous. Governance structures are not homogenous. Definitions aren't. I was amazed at the different definitions that our startup had than some of our partner firms. So it's important to get that up front, um, to not make any assumptions. And so the, uh, the strategy here is twofold. One is writing, uh, writing scales. You need to document all these decisions. You need to write them down. It, sometimes it's, it's a chore. It needs to happen. Um, recording these key decisions is important. And then the next step is 
is empathy. You really, again, you need to understand your partners, understand what their goals are, how they operate. A uh, 100,000 employee firm works very differently than our 20 person startup. And so this can be a huge culture clash, uh, as well as the loan developer contributing to your, to your API. You need to understand what the people's motives are and how to bridge that gap. Uh, the, the way to do that is to ask a lot of questions and to, and to write down the answers. Uh, it sounds simple, but it, it goes a long way. Um, and so this is, through this, we've been able to have more effective uh, partnerships. And these really do, uh, they affect the latency and bandwidth considerations. So understanding what someone's workload is like can really help help you uh, best fit and best optimally produce your results. And so to sum up these points, it's do things at scale as much as possible. With a platform, code scales, writing scales. You can write it once, and it's read by thousands of people. Uh, I, this is a, an error that's easy to make. It's not document enough. Not work on your documentation, your SDKs, your examples enough. And the other is whatever you do, you need to understand your counterparties if you're going to be a good community member. So what are their goals and motivations? And really, this isn't uh, a new age concept. This is to help prevent bottlenecks, which occur all the time. Uh, if you give too much information in one channel, you've created a bottleneck. Uh, and that isn't going to get resolved anytime soon. And so the, the ultimate goal is, is effective uh, software from beginning to end. So once again, I'm Tom Shady. I'm the CTO of GreenKey. We are a real-time financial NLP startup. Uh, we focus on on-prem install and training. We, we do have cloud versions also. Uh, and these are some of the things we've thought about from the beginning in order to design and partner effectively. So I hope you enjoyed the demo. This is my last slide. I'd like to open the floor up to any questions in the three minutes that we have remaining. <laughs> sure. So the, the question was, what are the open source projects um, that we use and contribute to? Uh, we're a consumer of hundreds of open source packages, um, as most firms would be. Some of the contributions we've made, uh, I'm, as a CTO, I'm very uh, uh, disposed to my team collaborating on open source technology. We have some patches that might get into Kubernetes, hopefully. That's a key aspect of what we're working on. Um, we have two SDKs inside Finos in the voice program. So check out um, github.com, Finos, and you can see some of our projects there. Some of the, the we provide tools to allow other firms to manipulate uh, speech recognition models, as well as extend our NLP. So uh, these are publicly available right now. Um, please check them out. Uh, so the question was, anything on the Symphony side, uh, we're working on that right now. Again, that, that'll be a key aspect of this. We're, we're, not, uh, we're not in the chat bot business, although we're going to create many chatbots along the way, we're in the NLP and data business. A chatbot is a way to access that. And so we're happy opening all of that up. Sir. So uh, that is our proprietary NLP layer. That is the one thing that we keep closed. Uh, that's where all of our uh, trade secrets are. Sir? We cover, uh, so the question was what financial assets do we cover? We cover over two dozen. Um, there, there's a long list. Uh, we're constantly working on the depth and breadth of that. Uh, and that's one of the benefits of working, um, of us working with our community of partners. Any more? Oh, you, sir. 
Oh, I forgot to show the query. <laughs> well, there's not, there's not a lot of time, but um, let's see if I can bring that up. We, we do have NLP running. So the live quotes are here. We also provide a way um, with green key commands to do things like um, so it's a way to query uh, quotes and, and incoming. Now that's, that's a uh, fixed structure command, but we also provide uh, NLP ways to access this. For instance, um, and so this is a way, uh, thank you for the question, this is a way to provide um, a natural language, human kind of querying interface on top of all this data that Green Key's collected. Now these are just two examples that we've put into our chat uh, ecosystem. There are many more that we could do and will. Yes. So, so the question is, do we have any interoperability with voice commands um, to drive other workflows? Uh, and the answer is yes, we do. Uh, we have provide some applications where uh, inside OpenFen, you can, we have some demos on our website. You can see read a, uh, a command like bring up a chart on Apple or even um, very complex financial instruments that then gets structured into FTC3 intents and entities and can get broadcast to the 40 or so applications inside OpenFin. Uh, I'm, not, I'm two minutes over, so I, I can't show you that today. But yes, that is one of the use cases we provide. And part of our SDK allows you to extend those voice, create your own voice commands, which is uh, very interesting. Yes. So the question was, do we have uh, any way to customize our NLP? And the answer is yes. We have, uh, we call it the Discovery SDK. It is inside Finos, and it allows you to extend our NLP models uh, to whatever you would like. So you can, through that, you can craft your own voice commands if you'd like, but you can also extend um, the uh, quote and trade interpretation that we do. Uh, the question was, do we have live clients with the IPC integration? The answer is yes. Uh, I cannot say who they are right now. But um, yeah, we are working with uh, a lot of the people that are here and talk today. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, it was a pleasure speaking with you. And I look forward to talking to you again.